What is up everyone? It's EMC1011. Welcome to a breakdown video for Tanks a Lot. Today we will be breaking down the newest season on Tanks a Lot, which is for the Ice Dozer. So today we'll be going over the new cannon and the new base, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So first off, I'd like to go straight into statistics for the cryo gun. So the cryo gun is a new cannon that honestly is actually really, really, really strong. It's I've versed against it many times, and I've noticed it's very, very, it does a very high amount of damage. So as you can see here, its burst damage is 1,230. And let's see if we compare it to some other ones, to some other cannons. The, it's actually not very good, but the fact that its burst is in one shot rather than multiple projectiles compared to some other ones makes it so good. So... This cryo gun is about its its um its weight is three. I mean it's four. So yeah, it's it's a pretty heavy gun, similar to the mushroom maker and the laser blaster. So the rarity for this gun is going to be legendary, and yeah, it's gonna be pretty pretty hard to get. As you can see in even the headhunter chest, the champion's chest I meant. Its drop rate is only 7.2. That's pretty good for Brawl Stars, but then again, you don't have, you don't open that many of these chests normally like you do in Brawl Stars. So, yeah, basically, it's a really, really strong DPS cannon. What also helps is its ultimate, I don't know, special, super, whatever, whatever you want to call it, Snowstorm, which it says makes a wall of frost and freezes all enemies' chassis in the area frozen enemies get damage over time so it's gonna be amazing for killing on site and as fast as possible so looks like i finished the challenge that's not that big of a deal and let's go over the pass now so there's of course the free pass and the premium pass which i do not have which i probably won't get and yeah there's I noticed that these passes are not very big, they're not very long, but the duration at which the season is active is short compared to Brawl Stars. So if we look on the free pass, I collected most of it, I saved, I have the Ice Dozer and the Cryo Gun back here, and basically it's decent, it's decent, I, I will say, I'm, I will say, it is... It gives you a lot of decent loot with gems 150 200 at a time you know something some stuff like that you have chests you have whatever those are the time stamps which are pretty good because given that they can they can have the time at which you open chests and then of course you get a platinum chest right here some gold and the new commander for the cryo gun which is elsa regan and yeah, I still, I do have the commander, but I don't have the ice dozer or the cryo gun. Okay, now let's go over the cryo gun's base I like to associate with, which is the ice dozer. Now, as, as you could see in the base area, in the hangar, there, I don't appear to have it anywhere in the not found area or in my found area. So that means... That probably indicates that this base, this legendary base, can only be uh, obtained from the the season for this uh, for the new base. What I like about this is its speed is actually quite high compared to other other uh, bases of the same health, I guess. Yeah, because if we look at the health, Hovercraft is low, Heavy Tracks is low, Spider Legs is also pretty low. But the spy once you up once you start upgrading it, it'll get much higher. Bulldozer, it's higher. Four tracks is about the same. And then hover, of course, is less health, has less health than the Ice Dozer. I really like the special ability for the Ice Dozer called Ice Shield, where there's a 15% probability to ignore incoming damage. Now, I'm not sure how specific it gets in terms of damage, because it could be per projectile or per burst or, you know, something like that. I have noticed, though, it's a, it's been able to negate all damage from my, my ultimate once I use it, which is, I, it's pretty annoying. 
So if you look at the premium pass, things only get better. So the these things, these chests are able to give you rerolls and all of them give you clan points, which is very helpful if you're if you're um if you're in a big clan that needs to work together in order to complete all of these. Looks like we're at level 6 now. And okay, somebody got kicked. So we have 36 members. You could join Chicken 3001. I know. <laughs> the name is <laughs> amazing. So basically for each level at which you advance in the pass, you have to win five times in order to advance. Or you could skip stages with, by spending 100 gems. Now, if you're a person that's, that stocks, that completely stocks up on gems, I... If you really think it's worth it, you can get these legendaries pretty much instantly by just speeding. You could just skip all of these levels easily since it's only 15 tiers in the season. So I'm pretty close to getting the Ice Dozer and I'm close to getting the Cryo Gun. So let's just see if we can face one in battle. Okay, let's go. Now, like I said, Cryo Gun, high DPS, hard to take out, actually. Its range is so annoying, I will say that. It, it, if, even if it hits you right at the tip of its shot, it will take you out. It'll hit you. It'll still hit really, really hard. So it looks like we're not against one, but we are versing with one. As you can see, its range is kind of short, and its projectile, um... Speed isn't that high, so I guess in a way it's balanced enough, but not really, because I think this gun is the most OP in the game. It is really, really strong right now, as of right now, in this season. Okay, so I'm able to... Oh my god, that's annoying. That is annoying. Okay, look like I took him out. See the... Look at that. Cryo gun, man. It's pretty strong along with the... Uh, with the rail, which is also... Which was the last... Which is the primary gun of the last season. I don't know if they added a special base, which I, I don't think they did for that one season. Got him. Okay, so some of these guys are pretty hard to take out, but since they have these weak bases, I'm able to hit them pretty hard without them really doing anything. As you can see right there, I just got a mega kill. And let's see if I can evade this guy's shots so I don't die. Okay, spam fire there. Take him out there. Shoot right there. Ooh, that's scary. Okay, I had to... Just I need to heal up a little bit. Cryo gun. So it doesn't it doesn't look like its damage changes depending on its ooh. I don't know what happened there. It doesn't look like its damage really changes depending on the range. So you could like I said, you could just hit him with the tip of the projectile and it does so much damage. Okay, so I'm pretty close to unlocking the Ice Dozer. Okay, so let's just go. Now, if you haven't already, if you enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help out this channel. And also, if you want to see more videos like these on Tanks A Lot, Brawl Stars, and uh, Minecraft, you can subscribe and hit that notification bell to be reminded just whenever I post a new video. So please stay tuned for a breakdown of the Cryo Gun and the Ice Dozer with gameplay coming out soon. So you do not want to miss that. Thanks so much for watching and see ya in the next one gamers.